Hello and welcome to the fourth W Advanced Dashboard case study. And in this case study, we will going to look at the Project Management Advanced Dashboard. I will show you what each of the component will look like. You need to recreate it by, uh, you know, exercising your skill set or by putting all of the knowledge that you have taken, right, and and trying to recreate it. Uh, based on how I have done it and then finally I will show you the dashboard so the with the help of that you can put everything together and create a dashboard so the whole idea is you practice your advanced skill set also assess that whether you have the advanced skill set or you still need to practice more or learn more right and then create this dashboard this is the dashboard which I also cover in my training for those who wants to quickly learn the advanced techniques within the Tableau and get the best out of the Tableau uh, as an entire software. So with that, let's go ahead and see and put all of this case study in action. All right, now let's go ahead and see all of the KPIs related to the project management dashboard. But before that, the data source. So data source is uh, quite straightforward. So this is basically for the country Nigeria. What is the budget for the project? What is the end date, expense, uh, location, whether it is on track, what is the plan date, what is the priority, project ID, who is the project manager, project name, project schedule, uh, project type, start date, status, percentage complete, right? Priority, uh, again, the count of project, uh, expense, budget, and all of those calculated field which may have been created when I have created it. Okay, so first thing first, you need to create KPIs like this where you can show, okay, what is your total project? Uh, what is your total expense? What is your total budget? Uh, and what is your utilization? And before I move ahead, one thing I have not told you from where you will going to get this data, right? You may be wondering that. So the way you can do this is by coming it over here into this uh, project this google spreadsheet docs.google.com uh, uh, for which the link is present in the description and uh, you will find this sheet over here if i go back to my data sets and in that you have this data sets not the data set link but the data sets right and this is where i have given the link over here so that you can find it because I use multiple files or I use the same files in multiple dashboards. So rather than uploading it again and again, I'm creating a link for you so that you can easily access. Okay, so for this link is present in description. You can come and uh, utilize this data set. Let's get back to Tableau. Now we are creating the trend for each of the KPI, which we will use it as a spark line. Finally, KPI 1 trend, KPI 2 two trend which is expense kpi three trend which is budget kpi fourth is the utilization right and then we are creating a change how much change has happened right uh, compared to the previous month so 50 percent change and uh, no change a lot of change 100 percent change and no change so this is a change component that is present right so one way is you show the change by month but in other scenarios not in this scenario but in other scenario what i also show how you can basically automate currently we are this information at month level but what if you want to basically give a power in the hand of a user that they can select month or quarter or year you know or week who knows what how do they want to see it so that is something also what i teach in my training as to how you can even make this time well anyways i'll move ahead but you can think it through how you can do that. Uh, then once you have changed, what you need to show is this type of a chart, which basically adding a lot of interaction where showing the highest value and then what is your actual value in that case. You know, it's sort of a progress what it shows. So this is the information by the uh, project type. And then what do you have is the uh, another, which is a darker version because in the dashboard, we are creating two version. Uh, which is a light version and the dark version okay and that is the reason one of the reasons we have done is is basically uh, taken this color so that even in the dark mode it will work fine or even in the light mode it will going to work fine right even if you see this color a light gray color will going to work in both the uh, 
a dark or light ash board okay so that's the thing and then what do you have is this chart which is a very clean chart as you would say for nigeria and shows at different location like borno or kano or sokoto uh, all of the places how the how many projects are going on so how would you create this type of a one which is a clean layout as well as you will observe that many of the uh, locations are not getting populated so you need to basically uh, figure it out how you can create this population by correcting the data within the tableau itself, not outside anywhere else. And then what do we have is a uh, information about budget versus expenses. So this is basically your budget. This is your uh, so what is budget? This is first one is your budget and second one is basically your expense. And I can actually enable uh, the legend show highlighter if allows no it does not allow <laughs> okay i can view it in the color and over here this is your budget this is your expense okay so that basically shows very clearly on this chart that your expense is in line with your budget or even below than this so that is this then you have the project priority which is more like a dumbbell chart where you have or lollipop chart not dumbbell chart which is basically indicating your project priority and the count of the project that you are having. Then the information about the project health, right? How much is at risk in progress and needs attention, so and so forth. So value and percentage and the project status, similar chart, but rounded chart, as you could see, showing you the status and the project count, right? And then what do we have is finally what I'm creating is this project management dashboard, not a full dashboard what I have shown, but this is like, this is how your KPIs will come and all of this information. This is where you have the banner. You want to go to the detail, you click over here, you come to the detail table where filters are present. And this detail table is present over here, as you can see. So we are showing the status like planned is with a different status in progress is with a different status, right? So that is something what we are showing. And this is what the dashboard level detail is for same thing. But with the help of these icons, we are basically showing the dark mode. We are showing the table. We are showing the light mode, all of that uh, configuration just so that we can view or we can give the better experience to our end user. Now, this is a final dashboard, how it will, how you are going to show all this KPI is a one single piece. As you can see, if I double click over here, this is tab one and then each of these style. Now the inspiration from where this inspiration is coming, let me show you. So the inspiration is coming from one of the dashboard, which was created by Pradeep. You can come to the public.tabli.com and search for the project management dashboard of Pradeep Kumar and you will find this dashboard. And as you see, uh, this is really an amazing design what I really liked and I created on that uh, different type of a project data which is on the Nigeria based. But if you see a lot of the motivation uh, for creation of this dashboard from here. So what I would suggest is you go and create a dashboard like this. There is a lot goes uh, inside uh, when you create a dashboard which has a lot of different components, right? And then you create a good layout like this. I've, I've, I'm choosing a different color, but I think this color is also great if you want to choose this and then create it. Also, if you want to learn how you can create such dashboards, you can join my training where I teach step by step how you can create it. But this will work if, if you can create it, this will be like, uh, you know, validate your skills that yes, you can go and create the advanced dashboards without much fun assistance and create your portfolio with that thank you so much i'll meet you in the next video with new with new topic